Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the 11th Hour Gaming Channel. I'm AJ Gills. We're picking up where we left off in Uncharted 4 at Thief's End. Guys, you know, I've, uh, <laughs> I played about a, about a half hour. I can't believe I'm here, you mean, with you, in Italy, huh? <laughs> yeah, me either. Just wish the circumstances were less tense, you know? Uh, well. you know the sights are a bit more enjoyable that way. Oh, uh, so this, this isn't your first time here? Oh, it's more like, uh, third? Had a couple of odd jobs. With Sullivan. <laughs> well, yeah. Okay. Um, you know, I, I recorded about a half hour, uh, from this point last night, and, uh, <laughs> hit a small problem of, uh, I don't know what the hell went on with my recording software, but... That bridge. Um... I don't I, I you know I don't know how to expose beam underneath. Oh, you think you can rope it? Do I think I can rope it? <laughs> Watch this. Uh, no, there's some there's some there's something screwy going on with my uh, recording last night. I uh I missed. <laughs> <laughs> See? Yeah, it's not bad. For a second attempt. <laughs> Back. No. You see that? Oh, like a pro. It's your turn. Okay, so where to next? All right, so I'm gonna warn you guys. So if I if I seem like I uh I kind of know what's about to happen, that kind of stuff. Hey. You know, it's kind of I kind of do. Uh, definitely. Hey, let's switch places. All right, climb over me. I've, I've got a good grip. Okay. Okay, here we go. <laughs> First try. All right, no one likes a show off. Okay, come on, Nathan. It looks like you can uh, climb down and make your way over. Oh, shit. Right behind you. I missed. Okay. Hey, è scommesso sulla partita. Inghilterra vincente. Inghilterra, traditore. Eh, hey, non confondere l'orgoglio nazionale con la realtà. Ok, we're good. Jesus, did you see him? That Renner thug was packing some serious heat. Should have brought guns. Sam, we're gonna pull this off so smoothly we won't need them. I hope you're right. Ah. <sighs> All those years. It's the little things that you miss the most. Like what? The smell of fresh citrus. <laughs> uh, riding the motorcycle. It's little things, but they add up. That should hold. Shit. Okay, I I don't I don't know what to say anymore. I suck. See, it kind of looks like that's a ledge down there. Oh. Hey, come on down. Ah. <laughs> These landings are a little more painful than I remember. 
Yeah, tell me about it. So, uh, your other wonderful finds, uh, the ones I missed, you at least take any pictures? I wish. Elena filmed some of it, but the camera didn't make it. That's too bad. I have some drawings, though. When we get back, I can show you. You have drawings? What, are they up on the fridge or something? No, I, they're good drawings. I can't wait. <laughs> they're good drawings. What are you talking about? Yeah, see, it's it's moments like this that I think that really kind of gives this game its um, just this really cool feel. It's this see anything to climb here. these kind of quiet moments. Um, you know, I mean, I remember the developer, uh, Naughty Dog. I think it was uh, Neil Druckmann. I think that's who it was. Um, kind of talking about this game. You know, talking about how you know it's these kind of like quiet moments that kind of um. I, I don't know how to like describe it, but it, like it gives this game it's kind of um, I again I, I just I'm not 100 percent sure like how to describe exactly what it is, but it gives it this ah, this looks promising. I think you mean precarious. I don't know. I mean, I, I think I'm trying to say it's. It, it gives it this really interesting narrative feel. Okay up there. Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. Suck if you missed right now. It sure would. But I don't miss. <laughs> there you go. Thanks. Uh, Nathan? Nathan? What? Oh, yeah. Okay. You all right? Yeah. How do I look? Like 400 million bucks. Let's go. All right, I'm right behind you. Best character reveal ever. Know what I love about partying with a bunch of crooks? What's that? Nobody cares if you smoke indoors. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while. Too long, boy. Oh. <clears throat> you remember my dead brother, right? Victor? I'll be goddamn. Fifteen years. Yep. Good to see you alive, Sam. Mm-hmm. Let's, uh, let's try keeping him alive by getting this cross, huh? Yeah, uh, about that. What, what about that? Come on, let me show you something. Take a look. That's Avery's cross. They brought it out of storage just before you guys got here. They changed the lot order. Take a whole pile of cash to make that happen. All right, well, how long before they start the bidding? 10, 15 minutes tops. Well, there's got to be some way we can grab it. <laughs> there is just a small matter of a few hundred eyewitnesses okay, down there. Okay, okay, but we just need a diversion. Like? Like, um... Like, I don't know. But there's got to be something. Well, if the guards <laughs> see us making for that cross... But they don't see us. Hmm? Jesus, you guys act like you never spend time in prison. If you want something dirty done, then you wait for, for lights, lights out. out. Yeah. Where's that electrical panel for this place? There's ventilation. Electrical? That's it up here. So we just have to climb up there and kill the lights. Grab the cross in the dark. There will be an emergency generator. And 
That'll give us a few seconds of darkness to work with. Meaning we'll have to be right next to the cross when the lights go out. Except there's no way we can get that close without being noticed. Scusate, signore. <clears throat> Antipasti? Mosse. Hi. How are you? Ciao. Don't you focus? The waiter wouldn't get noticed. That could work. Huh? That will work. <laughs> All right. All right, I'll, I'll get to the breaker room and kill the power. You mean I'm the waiter? You're the best pickpocket. What? You head down to the floor, keep your eye on the prize, okay? Let us know if anything uh, hinky goes down. Roger that. All right. Listen, we still got this. Ready? Ready. All right, follow me. We'll cut through the cellar. I love the word hinky. It's a fun word. Gotta say, Victor, the years have been kind to you. Thanks. I chuck it up and go on peace. Pardon me? Billy? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> you kill me. Hell no. What are you doing? I just going over our exit strategy. It's gonna get hairy. <laughs> Look, relax. We pulled off tougher heist than this. Yeah, I know, I know. I just try not to imagine what they'll do if they catch us. Sam, if things go bad, we'll be dead long before they catch us. That's a comforting point. Yeah. <laughs> I still love that reveal for Sully. You know, like you knew it was him, but they just like popped the lights. <laughs> He's just sitting there with a the cigar in his mouth, and it's, it's perfect. Um, you know, it's just, I, I've kind of figured it out. Like, these kind of moments where you're just kind of walking around. Um, it, it's kind of a fusion between, um, you see, I thought I had a like, you know, like these prompts and, you know, like these little, like, things to look at. Um, it reminds me of two games. Uh, and I'm going to kind of scroll through this so you can read them if you'd like. Um... And the two games this reminds me of are uh, Ellie Noir for the whole, uh, you know, you can kind of move the things around in your hand and kind of really examine them. Uh, but I mean, it's also very, these kind of quiet moments where you're just kind of walking around and it, it's not all action like I guess some of the previous ones have been. Um, it's very um, The Last of Us. Which, again, it, it makes sense, you know, being Naughty Dog. Um, I can't remember if I said that in the last video or if I said it in the... This, if I said it in the video that ended up uh, not being able to be produced. Or uh, it was all messed up, you know, I don't know. <laughs> Little dance move there. Oh, can, I get, can I get a snack? Come on, give me... Yeah, what what up with that? Oh, I want a snack. Oh, hell, it's locked. Shit, it was open earlier. Now what? Can we pick it? No, it's electronic. We're gonna have to find another way in. I love this. This is really funny. Oh wait, never mind. I don't know what I was thinking. I was thinking something else. Okay. Yep. I'm on it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You sure you want to do that? There's a lot of eyes out of here. I think I can handle a simple lift. All right. Just stare at this guy's ass. Oh, real smooth. Not even trying yet. Yeah, I can tell. Yes. <laughs> Just sitting there, like looking at that guy's butt. And he doubted me. Pleasure to watch professionals at work. Try this again. We'll still need these. Great. Good luck. We'll be in touch.
Hands in the air. Hi, Victor. Hello, Nadine. <laughs> Pleasure to see you again. Only this time, I've got the drop on you. Well, I guess I should be glad that's not a real gun. <laughs> Hardly recognize you out of your fatigues. Yeah. You know how it is. Every once in a while, a job requires us to get all dolled up. Looking sharp, by the way. Not too bad yourself. Feels so out of place here. Can't tell you what a relief it is to run into another English speaker. Even if you are American. They'll have to blame my parents for that one. <laughs> I was on my way to the bar. Can I get you something? Yeah, scotch. On the rocks. Be right back. Nate? You catch all that? Yes, I did. Sounds like a lady's trying to buy you a drink. Yeah. Nadine Ross is buying me a drink. Nadine Ross? Wait, doesn't she own that army for hire? Is it called Coastline? Shoreline. Yeah. Right. But you had a run in with them. It's putting it mildly. Fortunately, she does not seem to be holding a grudge. I'm good to go here. All right. Listen, we're all set, Sully. You uh, stay out of trouble, okay? I'll try. You ready? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. All right. I'm gonna find where the waiters and caterers are hanging out. I lure one out of the kitchen, probably. Then let's go find the kitchen. Man. There's enough food down here to feed a small town. Oh, yeah, they're a full service site. Weddings, bar mitzvahs, black market auctions. But do they have a DJ? <laughs> I love some of the banter between um, Nolan North and Troy Baker in this game. It's probably two of the, like, two guys who have probably the most, uh, Crap. You see a waiter in there? Nah, just more heavily armed goons. These are two, probably two of the most, like, well-known voice actors in gaming. You know, Nolan North being uh, the voice of Nate and Troy Baker voicing Sam. These guys, these guys are just, they're, I don't know, super popular. Locked. If you didn't know. I mean, which... Okay, plan B. I told you it's locked. Trust, but verify. And? It's locked. Locked. Right. You know, this is something weird that I've noticed with this game is that the uh, the action is very spaced out so far. Um, I mean, I I know, I know, it's gonna be hard to uh, imagine the action's about to pick up soon. Um, you know, no, not gonna spoil exactly what it is, but you know, it's kind of obvious. Um, but no, it's just that the uh, let there be light. I'd like to go in this joint. Don't suppose you brought a. F yeah, that'll do. <laughs> I guess it's always a good idea to bring a smoker along. Unless you need to run. <laughs> Man, I'm starting to get a little drunk off the fumes in here. Oh, good thing Sully's driving. Um. But no, you know, it, what I'm getting at, it's just the. It, <laughs> The pacing of this game is a little off, if you ask me. Maybe the vent access um, these casks. How to put it exactly? That's Not far, necessarily maybe. that it's yeah, maybe Alcazar can like very. I mean, I I'm, I'm trying to think like the best way to put this. Um, I don't mind the way this game is paced compared to some other games, you know, because I mean the pacing is at least consistent. It's just really slow. Because, like, the, the gunplay and the, a lot of the action is really good in this. Um, you know, I also turned down the sensitivity um, a notch. You know, it's a little easier to use. Um, but, you know, it, it's just that the pacing for this game is just... It, I don't know. It, it feels really slow in that, you know... I, but, I mean, I'm sh I'm really sure that we're heading up to a really good build-up. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's just that kind of that weird skeptical part of me. Yeah, hey, that got it. No need out. to give me a hand or anything. I'm holding a lighter. Holding a lighter. <sighs> okay. 
Okay, up we go. I know, but so far this... See, right there, I don't know if anybody, if you guys just caught it. I've been noticing that with this game. It's just there are times that it's like it, the, the camera gets super grainy. Um, sometimes I think when I notice it, it's like ambient dust that's supposed to be like kind of in the room. You see like that? I, again, I don't know what quality you're looking at this on with your screens. But, you know, if you kind of see this, the, the dust kind of floating around. Sometimes I think I'm, I, I'm interpreting that as grain, but it's like right there, like right when he kind of popped into that, um, right in right into the, the vents. I, I don't know. It, it bugs me. It's nowhere near what it was like with uh, Quantum Break. If you go back and check my Let's Play series of that out, it's it just, it did, that game had a lot of, um, I guess, grain in just its camera. And, you know, it's, uh, I don't know. That was an interesting choice, if you ask me. Okay. Um, and speaking of which, I, I'm still I'm working on finishing up my uh, my review for Quantum Break. Um, you know, I, just last night my uh, shh, you shh. And maybe not last night isn't the right word. Uh, just because I don't know exactly when this video is going to go live. Um, but you know, I just posted my Far Cry Primal review. You know, finally, <laughs> I finally got around to you know posting that. Um, which, uh, by the way, I gave Far Cry Primal a 6 out of 10. Um, Fresh air. You know, I, I'm feeling uh, Quantum Break with a, with a solid 8. Uh, which kind of makes me, in a way, feel bad because, you know, I keep scoring stuff at 8. But, you know, for me, an 8, it was good. It has its own problems. But it's still, it's a really solid game worth playing. This, uh, see that building with the radio tower? You mean the cell tower? The what? Whatever. Listen, that's the power room. Yeah, you're right. Let's see how we get past this gate. You know, to me, an eight's, it, 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 eight is good to me. You know, it's good, it's fun. Um, while, well, you know, a nine's great and a ten is Im basically immaculate. Sam, up here. That's kind of that's how I look at it. Um, but, you know, so I got a... Um, good thing you kept in shape. I have Quantum Break sitting at an eight, which, again, I just have to review. I have uh, Ratchet and Clank, honestly, and I'm sure I'm going to get some crap from this from people. I'm going to have to give Ratchet and Clank a nine. Uh, again, I'm working on that review. I mean, that Ratchet and Clank was just... It, I don't know. I mean, it it Sully, did it, it did something that a lot of games just don't do. It was... Uh, How's it looking? It's really good. Sully? You there? <sighs> and right now, I'm sitting on with this game. Um, Found the kitchen. <laughs> of course, it's locked. I'm sitting on 9 right now for uh, Uncharted 4. I Actually, I agree with the... Uh, Maybe IGN review a by Lucy O'Brien. You can go check that out. It's, it's live. Um, Got it. Heads up! Heads up! <laughs> Buona sera. <laughs> Bam. Easy on the civilians, Sam. What? Right. So he wakes up with a headache in his underwear. We've both been there before, right? He did steal a cigarette. Right. Well, I got mine. You get yours. Right. <laughs> um. But you know, I'm I'm sitting on this game with a nine right now. Um. Again, it, my question is whether or not the pacing hashes out at the end. Um. Sam, you good? Yeah, well, that's the style these days. Really? You know, I'm a. Uh, oh, in Rome. How to put it? because uh, we're in Italy. I get it. You know, I'm I'm not gonna give something a ten, and call, say it's a perfect game. Same I'll give thing? something a ten if it's, if it's a Same. great game, and I would suggest anyone play it. Right. Kind of thing. Um. You know, I mean, honestly, that's why I have Witcher three at a ten, but I don't have Metal Gear Solid five at a ten. Because I'm sorry, Metal Gear Solid Five, not for everyone. Um, I don't know. I just I, I don't know. It, it, it's it, it's hard sometimes to exactly explain um, how I score things. It's just to me. I think uh, again. I, I know I'm talking about a lot of different games. I'm not playing here. Um, but you know, Witcher Three. I thought was a it was a damn good game. Uh, it was a fantastic RPG. Just. It, 
it's one of those, yeah, I'm not saying everyone will like it, but, you know, it's something that I would suggest to anyone. Should be there soon. If that, if that makes sense. Hence why I'd give that one a 10, give uh, MGS5 a 9, just because I wouldn't give, suggest Metal Gear Solid 5 to anyone. In this game, depending on how where it goes, I'm sitting at a 9 or a 10 for this game. I know, that kind of, I, I know I tangented really badly in that, uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if you guys, uh, you aren't following my train of thought right now. Um, uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know. It's, oh shit. Ah! Shit! <laughs> I can't believe you got away with that. Oh, we did not. No, we had our liberty taken away for a month. And what about the horse? Fortunately, we had a lot of carrots on board. <laughs> <laughs> I recognize someone. No. I thought I did, but no. But when am I finally going to meet that partner of yours? Drake? Well, that's ex-partner. Mm. Yeah, I've been flying solo for a while now. Drake's out. Oh, like dead out? Oh no, more like retired. Mm. Last I heard, he settled down, got married. Mm. Well, then he might as well be dead, right? <laughs> Victor Sullivan. How the hell are you? Great. How long has it been? 10 years? 12? 15. <laughs> it's amazing. All these years gone by, here we are, we're still haggling over dead people's junk. <laughs> really? Aren't you running your parents' business? My business now. But yes, that is my day job. Oh, <laughs> that is one hell of a day job. You could probably afford to buy up everything on the block tonight. Well, sure. But what would be the point in that? And these days I'm only looking for the good stuff. Big score. Any advice on what I should pick up tonight? <laughs> yeah, I think I want to bid against him. <laughs> but um, <clears throat> just between you and me, I did notice they changed the order. Hmm. I think somebody might be trying to rig this auction. Hmm. Well, remember where we are. This crowd didn't get rich by playing fair. Which is why you really need someone watching your back in a place like this. Ah. Well, I do hate to break it to you. You are working for an American. With? We've partnered up on this one. See? <laughs> Talk about a power couple. In a few moments, we'll begin bidding on our next item, an inlaid wooden crucifix from the Trotty State. Well, I know when I'm a third wheel, you two kids have fun tonight. Hold on, Sully. How'd you find out about it? It? What it is that, Rafe? Nadine, I think your partner here has had too many bloody marriages. Cut the bullshit, old man. Now, I don't know how you scammed your way in here, but if you think about bidding on Avery's Cross, I can tell you exactly how you're going to be leaving in a goddamn Rafe. fight. <laughs> well, you get my point. Lovely seeing you both. Nate? Nate? God damn it, kid, where the hell are you? Okay. Power room. I can do this. <laughs> Alright, guys. Uh. This, this. You know, I am. If, if you guys have followed me for a while, you know, you know. I'm, I'm a guy who loves, like, dumb little details in games, you know, it's like when they put, like, really small things, you know, it's like when, um, L.A. Noir came out, you know, I, I, I this game's on my mind, so, you know, I'm gonna talk about it, um, our room. I'm, try I'm trying to think, like, what, what I'm trying to say, what I'm trying to get at here, uh, when, it, when L.A. Noir came out, um, you know, when I, when I played that game, like, one of my favorite parts of it was the fact that, uh, you could pick up your hat, after, you know, like, if you're in a fist fight and, you know, you, uh, you lose your hat, you know, you, you walk over to it and you, you pick it up and I'm just, I, I don't know. 
It, it's dumb little details like that that I love in video games. Oh, you see that? I don't know if any, if you caught that. You see, you the bar bent a little bit while Nate was climbing on it. Um, oh, going the wrong way. Yeah, see that? Like I don't, I don't know if it's supposed to do that or if that might just be a glitch. But if that it is, I mean that's again, it's it, it's dumb little details like that. Um, but no, while I'm talking about dumb little details, you, you look at if you look at Sully's face. Uh, you know, like, especially in that cutscene, you saw his, um, he, he shows his, you know, you like, you, you look into his beard, or maybe his stubble, and you see it's kind of coming back, you know, it's kind of coming in, uh, just, or it looks like an uneven shave, it's really, it, it's really weird, um, and, and I know, I, I know, I, I sound absolutely insane when I'm talking about this. Um, but it's, you know, like you see certain, like some longer hairs in there, you know, it's like you see the wrinkles in his face are very well defined. Um, it, it's a, it's a very interesting look. I mean, not look, uh, it's just, it, it's, a, it's a really neat, uh, approach to really small details that I guess people consider insignificant. Uh, but, th but this is something that I've always noticed about video games is why does food and drink, you know, like you, you saw, uh, the Nadine, I'm, I'm, the, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say the black woman because I, I don't, I'm not going to say African American because I think she's South African actually. Um, you know, uh, Nadine, she, um, here we go now. You, 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 if you saw her take that drink out of the, you know, that glass, the, the liquid never looks right to me. Uh, same thing with food. I've never, you know, like when, uh, Nate and Elena were having their meal early in the game, never understood that. I made it. Had a few close calls, but yeah, well, if you're gonna cut the we power, now would be a good time. Right, well, I'm gonna need a minute before I can reach the panel. We don't have a minute. Rafe's about to walk out of here with your cross. Wait, what? Rafe? Rafe is here? Yes, Rafe is here, and as of right now, he has the highest bid. Well, I'll bid him. With what? I don't have that kind of scratch. Sully, we're stealing him, remember? What if he calls my bluff? <sighs> he won't. We have 90,000. Do I hear any more bids? Guys, if we do not get this cross, I am as good as dead. Yeah. Well, I end up with the highest bid. We're all dead. Sully, I need you to buy me more time. Since we have no other bids. Trust me. Going once. Going twice. Screw it. Then we have 100,000 euros in the room. Thank you. Do we have any other bids? We now have 110,000 euros in the room. And for a penny and for a pound. That Don't worry. To You'll be out of there in no time. I better be. Um, yeah, I'll kind of finish with what I'm saying. You know, it's like if you look at the the meal that Nate and Elena had the early in the game. Um, it just the food never looks right, I, and I don't know why it is that little details like you know, like the beard hairs, and you know, you look at Nate's haircut, and you know, everybody's hair, it all looks. Um, I don't know. It just. Yeah, give me a second. Yes. Uh, how did that fit in there? The bidding stands at 160,000. And I'd also like to say it doesn't always go in the same area because I found that in a locker. Gotcha. The last time I played through this. Just want that stated. I don't know. It's just, it's weird that little details in games uh can make certain things look really good and it still looks to me like you're having problems with other stuff. 500,000. Let's get the show on the road here. Uh, thank you. We have 500,000 euros in the room. Does the gentleman wish to begin? <laughs> Had me worried there for a minute, Victor. Thought I might have to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's ruin this asshole's evening. Anyone else? <laughs> I love that. We are going Let's twice. ruin this asshole's evening. Going twice? Then I shall sell it for 500,000. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain calm. The backup power will come on shortly. It's gone. Move it! Get out of the way! Stop him! Hey, stop that guy! What are you doing? You're letting him get away! You speak Spanish. What? Okay, I don't speak Italian, but I think that means get the fuck back. Right, this might sound weird to anybody. Sam, this, uh, tell me you got the cross. Got St. Dismas right here. You want to say hi? 
Yeah, we've really kicked the hornet's nest down here. Ballroom's locked down, security's scrambling. Hey, Victor, where's our getaway? Come to the driveway out front. Just follow the spotlights. I'll bring the car around. Does anybody but me sometimes have trouble discerning Italian from uh, Spanish? It's not all the time. It's only like certain instances. Okay, I, I really like this. They really, really went all out with the uh, with the stealth mechanic in this game. And it's very well done. You know, it makes sense. Um, yeah, ask me. I mean, oddly enough, th I mean, this is an action game. <laughs> and it has actually some of the best. I mean, Grant, I mean, I, I played with it very, very little. But still, I mean, it, this is some of the best um, stealth I've played in a game. In a long, long time. I mean, maybe, mostly it's because, I mean, this is kind of like what I hope, um, I mean, just the, the fact that the, t that the detection is really, uh, what is it, that, the fact that, it, uh, detection's very, you know, kind of laid out and explains exactly what it's, you know, um, what they're looking at, you know, like, what they're looking for, the meters are very easy to understand and read, you know, the rules are, Shit. The rules are simple. Okay. Um, we should have brought guns. Jeez, I am doing so much better this time than I did last time. Uh, you know, I mean, the rules are really simple. The uh, it's very action-oriented and fast-paced and moving. Kind of unlike Hitman, which felt, uh, you know, the new Hitman game, which feels very stiff. Um, I, 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 I really kind of hope this is that uh, maybe AC takes a cue from this game. Uh, you know when it does its when it kind of does its reimagining for the next AC game. What's also kind of weird about this is the fact that it, this game has sort of an openness. That a lot of um, these sort of games just don't have. Oh crap! That was that was a bad choice on my part. Um, but no, I mean, the, the, there's sort of like an openness to these areas. Um, okay, maybe we should have brought guns. You know that um, games of this genre just don't have. It's um, because if you notice, like you know, like I'm like I'm moving around very easily, trying to you know stealth around this place. That guy move. Ready, go. I think where I'm. I'm trying to think how to where to go. It's those guys that are gonna be the problem. Forgot about that. You, you know, actually, I, I probably did that a little earlier than um, the tutorial gave you. But you can actually tag enemies in this. No. 
Oh god, I'm an idiot. Maybe this is more straightforward. Maybe the the areas to run are a lot more straightforward than I think they are. I don't know, it's just like the uh, the approach to stealth just feels a uh, feel, and I know it's really weird that um, I I lo I love stealth in games, especially you know, or games that give you the option to go loud or go quiet. Um, and I, and that's just something I really like about this is just or this this uh, the way they're doing the stealth in this game is the fact that it's very. Um, I mean, I think it's totally optional, but it's very easy to use and understand. Okay, everything's fine. No one got a good look at me. I'm just gonna play cool. Stroll right on out of here. A treasure in this room? I feel like there should be treasure in this room. I haven't found any treasures in this game. Like, I found one. Maybe they're just better hidden. Oops. Oh. Scusi. You're not supposed to be back here. Well, neither are you. But I'll tell you what. I won't tell anyone if you don't. You have something I want, and you're going to give it to me. <laughs> really? Well, I'm flattered, but uh, I'm afraid I'm spoken for. Oh, if you'll excuse me. I'm not in the mood for games. Give me the crucifix. Lady, you're lucky I'm a gentleman. Because if I weren't, I would... You'd what? All right, fine. Just remember, I didn't want to do this. Let's see what you've got. <laughs> Come on, Nate. <laughs> oh. Nice try. I gave you that one. Freebie. Oh, how sweet. <laughs> Come here. Now hand me the artifact. All right, look. I have this nice astrolabe back home. It's slightly used. I'll give it to you for a fair price. I have a better idea. Oh. All right, look. I'm still a little jet lagged. How about we just call it here? Oh, son of a... Have you had enough? Or do you want to keep being a smart ass? Well, you know, being a smart ass has gotten me this far in life. Why quit now? Oh, right in the chin. Wait, wait. It's in my back pocket. Where is it? Right Just met your friend Nadine Ross. She's lovely. Yeah, well, it's total chaos out here. They're trying to keep it contained, but everybody's freaking out. I don't want to rush you, but hurry the hell up. Nathan, where you at? Good question. You? By the ballroom. Look for this round sign thing. It's on the way. Round sign thing. Check. Good news is I got a gun. See you soon. All right, there's that round sign thing. Three. Figure it out. 
See, I, I still think that the hand-to-hand -hand combat in this game, I, I, I think they kind of made the hand-to-hand -hand stuff take a hit. Um, it, it, it's something I think you'll see later. It's just because I think the combat in this game is so much more um, fast-paced than it has been in the past. Uh, so I think they kind of got rid of the complexity of the hand-to-hand. I love this. Catch! Wait, what? Oh crap. <laughs> I got it! My right, you got it. Nice shooting! You alright? Yeah. Hanging in there. <laughs> I can't get to you from here. You got a way down? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Okay. I'll meet you at the driveway. Just head towards the ballroom. Alright, see you there. <laughs> Um, but no, I, 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 I do, oh shit, I do think that the, um, hand-to-hand -hand in this game was, um, well, I, I think it was simplified to fix a, uh, not fix a problem, it was, uh, oh shit. I think it was simplified to kind of allow for this kind of more fast-paced combat. Again, I mean, it, 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 that's a total guess. I'm not going to say I speak for the... Or I speak for or know what the developers were thinking. Okay. But that's my opinion on it. Even though I still... I don't know. It, it, because part of what I think set Uncharted apart from some other shooters similar to it... Was the fact that the com was that um, you know stuff like hand-to-hand -hand combat felt um, it felt so right with Uncharted. Shh. Your second guess. Sorry about that, guys. My uh, house phone started ringing. See, it's like times like that. Like, I, I, I don't know. I keep. I'm going back and forth on this. I, I'm probably gonna go back and forth on this all game. Um, because right there, the hand to hand wasn't terrible. I mean, it fit in context because yeah, it was a lot faster paced. Um, so I guess it works when in conjunction with uh, gunplay, but when it's on its own, like that fight with Nadine, it doesn't feel right. Nathan, I'm pinned down in here. You can use a hand. On my way, Sam. I don't know. I, I guess that's the best way I can I, I can explain it. It it fits. It fits, I guess, a specific part of gameplay, just not the entire thing. Oh shit! 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 shit. Oh shit. What? What? Bullshit. Oh, that's where the. Oh man, that's. <sighs> 
See, I also like how his jump animations look a lot more um, realistic. I know, I, I keep talking about everything. I, I, there's just so much I think this game just did right. Right, here we go. <laughs> I love this. And see, it kind of takes us out of that kind of platforming narrative sort of feel right into act, right into the action, which is something that I think this franchise has always done really well. But this game, I think, in particular, sets a new standard. Oh my god, the drop kick! And see, e even that even that animation right there, you know, where I was running and shooting, that that animation was so good, you know, because it, it, it's so believable that you know, like I'm running, gunning through all that, you know, that I'm just kind of like blind firing into all that gunfire while I'm trying to dive into that car. It's spot on, just that mix between action and the animations. So it's a uh, this game very well done. It's, I'll I'll shut the hell up now. I'm sorry. I hope I don't go to hell for this. Oh, shit. What? It's empty. What? Oh, you're such an <laughs> asshole. He's your brother. All right, skull and crossbones. Very good sign. Xavier's insignia. What is this? In Today you will join me in paradise. paradise. It's what Jesus said to Saint Dismas on the cross. Right. But what about these numbers here? What do, you, what do you make of this? It's some kind of code or a phone number. <laughs> Come on. The dates. Huh? Look. 1659. It's the uh, year Avery was born. 1699. Let me guess. The year he died. Well, by most accounts, yeah, but that means we have date of birth, date of death, and paradise, which means we're looking for Avery's grave. It's St. Dismas's Cathedral. <laughs> Wait a second. Hasn't Rafe been scouring that site for ages already? Yeah, the cathedral. See these symbols? Yeah. These are found on old Scottish gravestones. Right. 
right? Now, look at this. The layout of this place is really unusual. Uh. Here's the cathedral, but the graveyard is way over here. Ray's been focusing on the wrong area. Exactly. Guys, we're going to Scotland. All right, all right. Wait, wait up. You do realize that Rafe knows you're coming. Yeah, we can deal with that when we get there. Look, that psycho would like nothing better than for you to show up. Plus, he's got Nadine and her whole army to back him up. Yeah, but he doesn't have this. The biggest pirate treasure of all time is within our grasp. I thought this was about saving Sam. It is. But come on, it's both, right? We need the treasure so we can save Sam. How is Elena cool with all this? Jesus, kid. Look, it's just not that simple. Look, with all that you two have been through together... She wouldn't understand this. You are not giving her enough credit. I can't take that chance. <clears throat> Nathan, he's right. But things have changed. Rafe's involved now, and... I can, I can take this on my own, really. Great. Well, thank you for your input, both of you. Excuse me. Hey. Hey, it's me. Yeah. Now the reception's lousy. Yeah. Something on your mind, dear? Look, I, um, I realize it couldn't have been easy all those years away. And I'm sorry for what happened to you, <laughs> but it's not his fault. I never said that it was. It took a long time for him to get out of this game. You see a gun to his head? He chose this. Okay, he's meant for this life. You really believe that? Why are you here, Victor? Because somebody's got to keep an eye out for him. You know, I'll just see you in a few more weeks. Yeah, I will. Okay, I love you too. Just told her that the job was going to take a little longer than expected, which is the truth, right? So come on, what do you say? Sam could still use our help. Well, <clears throat> I do hear that the weather is particularly fine in Scotland this time of year. Oh, Rafe's really going all in, isn't he? Well, they're all concentrated around the cathedral, so that's good. Because we are going to have that graveyard all to ourselves. <sighs> Sully. Yeah? Hey, listen, we're good to go here. Okay, kids. Happy hunting. Nice chance to come with. Yeah, well, unless you can find me an escalator, I think I'll pass. <laughs> all right, see you in a few. Uh, hey, Nate. Yeah. Just, uh... Ah, uh, just bring me back something shiny, will you? That's the plan. Well, let's go pay our respects to Captain Avery, huh? All right, I'm going to pause here. End the video right now, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. You know, this has been a lot of fun. I hope you guys are enjoying this game. This game is super cool. Um, it, this is so much fun. Um, yeah, I, I, I really don't have much else to say uh, to you guys right now other than, uh, you know, this game's going to keep going. Uh, we're starting Doom in a couple days, you know, then a couple days after that, Homefront the Revolution, you know, so we got a busy couple weeks coming up along with, uh, you know, tomorrow I plan on uh, continuing Fallout, uh, you know, a lot of the other ongoing games that I have going. Um, but right now we're uh, focusing a lot more on Uncharted. So, guys, uh, until next time, thank you so much for watching. I'm AJ Gels. This is the Elmethour Gaming Channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out.